Inga Smorgasbord bit my din din. I'm coming, Inga. Special pizza delivery for Dr. Wallenstein. Mm. Won't you stay and have a morsel with me, Inga? Thanks, but no thanks, Doc. I go for the short, red haired type. About this tall, don't you know? Well, what do you know? A perfect fit. Oh, my! Hello, I'm an Inca. <laughs> yes, who? Oh, foodie. I'm off at 11. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> I never get the girl. <laughs> they all think I'm just boring. <laughs> eh, quit your blubbering. <laughs> yep, I guess some of us got it and some of us don't. Then maybe you could show me how to be more cool, yeah, cool for the packer? Sure, if you'll put me up. I'm not going anywhere till 11. <laughs> you rang. Show Woody to the guest room. But be careful with his head. Follow me, buddy. <laughs> I'm not her type, eh? We see about that. When Inga comes back, she gets the woodpecker's body, yeah? But with me inside. <laughs> Tau, must find the Tau. Brain in your body will make me irresistible. I am a cool woodpecker, yes, I am. <laughs> Now I get that Inga girl for sure. Hey, Meatball! You talking to me, Woodpecker? You're a disgrace! Look at you, pompadour falling, feathers ruffled, waddling like a chicken. <laughs> Inga will never go for you. Now let me out of here so I can help you. <gasps> no way, Woodpecker. Ha! Forget it. Now we'll see who gets the girl. You bet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about doing that cute little laugh of yours? <clears throat> never mind, never mind, stop! Pack me something out of food, Dan, okay? Yeah. Uh, pack? Oh, yeah, I am woodpecker. Watch this. Oh, he's gonna ruin the reputation of woodpeckers everywhere. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Hey, ho, what do you know? I'm from the Bad Date Intervention Bureau. I've seen some bad dates before, bub, but yours is off the chart. 
Yeah, it's not going so good. What I do? You need a hat. Now go get her, partner. Yeehaw! I'm a cowpoke, y'all. Look at me, Inga. Oh, I love cowboy hats. <laughs> <laughs> I never did look good in chartreuse. But I'll bet this will confuse the doc just long enough so I can change into something more comfortable. Namely, me. By Imini, Inga likes me the way I was. Better than this dumb bird suit. You bet. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I'm me. Good as new. My food is back. <laughs> That's my girl. Doof. Come on, Inga. We got a feast waiting with our food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Make me <laughs> Bye, Yemeni. I get you, Woodpecker. Bye, bye, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've mastered the Bones and Crones beginner's game, have you? Then you better upgrade to the Bones and Crones Mega Monster Deluxe Game version or your life will be a living nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Must have blown a fuse or something. Or something. Hey, Miss Minnie still has her lights on. Uh, let's go down there. <gasps> Splinter, that old witch really is a witch. Just goes to show you never really know who your neighbors are. <laughs> I bet she blew out our lights with some kind of spell. Yeah, in fact, she could be casting a spell over us right now. Uh, uh, what does the Bones and Crones game book say about witches? It says you gotta capture a witch to break her evil spells. Come on! <laughs> as soon as she opens the door, we run. Uh, that's my favorite part. What are you little yard monsters up to? <laughs> If I wanted a hammock in my tree, I'd get one myself. And what's that? Littering my yard, are you? No, uh, we were playing a game. And, and there was a big gust of wind. Uh, the book flew out the window. And we had to come get it back. You like games, do ya? Well, I happen to know lots of games. <laughs> Quit your catawalling. We're gonna play Guess What's for Dinner! See if you can figure out what the main ingredient is! <laughs> I've been wanting to have you two for dinner for a long time! So, did you guess what the main ingredient is, huh? Did you? She's gonna eat us! No, she's gonna cook us! Don't you even think about leaving. It's all stormy outside. Uh, well, uh, we were, uh, uh, uh just gonna uh, wa wash up for dinner. Good idea. I like a nice, clean dinner. Bathroom Saturday. <laughs> hmm. Jumpy little tykes. We gotta get out of here. Oh, 
Could you not mention barbecues? I'll go keep her occupied. Oh! There you are. Where's your brother? It's not dinner without him. Uh, 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 he's, um, um, just washing up. Good. Cleanliness is next to tastiness. I always say... <laughs> Playing my game first! to put this thing together and it's just too darn scary for them to play. Now who am I gonna get to help eat my vegetable stew? <laughs> we almost didn't make it. We gotta tell someone. Wally! You're the last ingredient I need for my woodpecker stew. Uh, he's got Uncle Woody. We gotta stop him. <laughs> Do, 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 do. You drop them, mister! We've had all the weirdness we're gonna take around here! Hey, kids, what's up? Uncle Woody? But we thought Wally was making woodpecker stew! One bowl of stew for the woodpecker. So, do you think it's good enough to win the neighborhood stew cook-off tomorrow, woodpecker? Yours is definitely up there, Wally. Come on, kids, let's go taste Mimi's stew. Oh, no! Oh, we're not going over there, Uncle Woody! Have it your way. That just means more stew for me. You know what I think, Splinter? That if we keep being such scaredy cats, we'll miss out on one of oh. Uncle Woody's best ideas yet. What the heck are you thinking? Turn on a light, stupid! Meanie, great announce. You got zip, sparkle, flare. And the constitution of a contortionist in a sardine can, sir. You know, I think it's time you worked in the theater. I'm giving you a chance for a big promotion. Oh, oh well, well, thank you, sir. <laughs> I've been brushing up on my management training guide. <laughs> I won't let you down. Ruling. Attack of the Zombie Woodworms is about to end in Theater 13. Clean it out before the next show. And watch out for theater hoppers. Oh, if I catch one. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie woodworms. It's just a movie. <gasps> Some kids leaving all the seats, catty walkers. <clears throat> Zombie worms! <laughs> <Ha>! <laughs> 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 
freeloader trying to hide in his seat for a second showing of killer zombie woodworms, huh? <laughs> Hoppers than you have tried that one, crying boy. I didn't become a manager in training five minutes ago, you know, Buster. No, no, listen, I'll pay to see another movie. Just don't make me go out in the dark. Your money's no good here, woodpecker. You're a theater hopping, movie grubbing lowlife, and when my boss finds I've kicked your sorry tail feathers out, he'll promote me for sure. Huh? <laughs> into Galactic on your hindquarters, Woodpecker! Meanie, what are you doing? Going Woodpecker wrangling, sir! Step aside! Just need to find a nice, peaceful place to hide. The happy cults of Rocking Horse Island. This should be perfect to settle my nerves. Ah, sweet sweetness everywhere. Cole, get off that screen! Oh, I'll stop that no good theater offer! Sit tight and out of harm's way, sir! could get me over my fears. <laughs> what happened to you, bub? Feeny! Yep. Know just what you mean. She's been after me all night. Here I am, sir. The little theater hopper got away, but I'll find him. You'll never get a promotion in my theater, Meanie. Not only did you tie me up, you've broken nearly every rule of customer relations. You've... You've... She scared the daylights out of me. Frightening customers! She wouldn't take my money. Refusing service! And, and most of all, you've... She was disruptive when others were trying to watch the movie. Oh, disrupting the movie going experience! She did all that? Oh, please, don't report these incidents to the theater chain, Mr. Woodpecker. It could mean my job. Well... If there's anything I can do for you... Anything? And today's feature, Citizen Woodpecker, Jurassic Woodpecker, Woodpecker and the Tramp... You know, Meanie, you got the best movies in town at your theater. I wonder who picked them. <laughs> I'll just use my lifetime free movie pass for a ticket to every flick. I'll be watching out for you, 
woodpecker. Mark my words. I won't be in this booth forever. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> It's here. I won, I won. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I won, and now I'll have the fun. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? I won the father and the son cruise on the ocean. I won, I won, I won, I won. Hello? Anyone home at the meatball residence? You don't have a son, Wally. <gasps> what I gonna do? You can be my son! Are you nuts? Oh, my little sunny boy, fruit of my loins. Think of the swimming, the tennis, the three deluxe swimming pools. Nah, I... swimming, huh? And the free, oh, you can eat smorgasbord. Oh, you can eat, huh? And these exotic port of call. Exotic ports? Wow! You will do it? Not a chance. <laughs> Wally, buddy, there's only one way I'd ever go on a cruise with you. Congratulations on winning the contest. Congratulations on winning the contest. Congratulate your father and son? Of course we're father and son. You think I'd be with him otherwise? Oh, uh, sorry. We have to be careful. We found a fake father and son on our last cruise. But we took care of them. They spent the entire trip in the brig eating nothing but bread and water. The brig? This is stupid, Woodpecker. We're gonna get caught. <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth full, Junior. <laughs> Kids. No. Can't live with them, can't convince them to run away with the circus. Father and son, huh? If they aren't, I'll have them in the brick by sunset. Ah, this is the life. They hate being the child. Ah, quit your complaining, or next time I'll leave you home. Leave me home! This is my yeah. cruise. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, uh, time for the sunscreen, son. I think your meatball is frying. Would your son care to join the others in the pool? Little Wallace loves playing with other kids, don't you, Wallace? <laughs> Boy, you're sure big, Wally. Bet you aren't afraid of anything. <laughs> Your big chunks could sink this ship. <laughs> oh, Wallace, son, are you sure you don't want to dive like all the other kids? We want big chunks. We want big chunks. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> this way, son. You sit here. Hey, Von. This is some cruise, all right, Wally. Huh? <laughs> Look, the space shuttle. Oh, boy. Where? Must have yours missed it. Ah, who cares? They brought me a fruit drink. <laughs> ah! Huh? Are you ready to order, sir? Am I ever? I 
I'd take a big steak smothered in onions with french fries, corn on the cob, and something special for dessert. Yeah, me too. Me too. Children order from the Little Sailor's Menu. Um, Wallace will have a grilled cheese sandwich, an extra large helping of cream spinach, strained squash, and a big glass of buttermilk. But I don't want... Whoa, did you hear that? Sounds like my little boy has gotten a hoarse voice from all the sea air. Oh, just as I thought. My boy needs vitamins. Give him spinach. Spinach and more spinach. And for dessert, a delicious Bavarian chocolate cake. Uh-uh. Finish your dinner, Wallace. Who's the big boy who cleans his plate? I'm the big boy who cleans his plate, you bet. Yeah, but now... Uh, uh, uh. You didn't finish your whole dinner. Oh. <laughs> this was the stupidest idea you ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been the papa. You're too immature. No, you are. No, you are. No, you are. No, I am. No, I am. Okay, you are. I'm sure you both love our brig. Hehehe. <laughs> love the brig. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you be the father. Figure out a way to get us home. Don't start with me, Woodpecker. Look! We're safe! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. oh, oh no! no. Mother-daughter cruise! <laughs> Since Mom retired from the Corps. Carry on. Huh? Wait a minute. You don't look Army issue, boy. No frick, frick, paddywhacking way. That chow's for military stomachs only, and you're not. <gasps> the General. Patty, Sergeant. But not two at ease. Military intelligence is at this moment tracking a super spy who's gonna try and steal our military secrets. I need a crack counter spy who'll use all the tricks of the trade to stop him from sneaking onto our base. Yes, sir, sir. You can count on me, sir. Sergeant, you have a non regulation penguin on your helmet. Uh, sir, I, I can explain this. Tuxedo Boy here infiltrated the base looking for a free meal on the government of the U.S. of A. And I'm not about to let that happen, sir. <laughs> Oof, that's worse than a boil on a sunburn. I think we found our operative. What? He infiltrated your perimeter, soldier. That means he's tricky, sly, and clever. But, General, sir. Plus, he's cute and innocent looking. No one would ever suspect him of being a counter-spy. Oh, and best of all, he likes you, Sergeant. Carry on, Sergeant Hogwash. You train him to be a super spy by nightfall, and there's a big promotion in it for you. Fail, and you'll be cleaning latrines after the annual chili cook-off. <laughs> Little Grunt's gone AWOL! And he's taking my promotion with him! They'll be 
be no towel until... Drag me the wool, drag me quick. Get out of my way. I'm gonna be sick. Hey, lesson one. You eat after I train you. Now, to be a good spy, you gotta have a good disguise to disguise yourself. Now, in so doing, you'll convince the enemy that you are... <laughs> the stupidest thing I've ever seen in this man's army. <laughs> huh? Where'd that little spy in disguise get to now? Mm. Little spy's learning quick. But master of disguise or no, he can't snow job the old Sarge. Time to melt this boy's snowbank. Strip search! Ah! <laughs> Chili had a little bomb whose button made it go. And everywhere that Chili went, it made the Sarge say, Wah! Ah, it's coming! No knee-high spy's gonna get free chow on my face. No sorry. Now, a good spy's got to speak many foreign languages. So what's your native tongue, boy? Oh. Aha! You speak the universal language of food. Good. Now get fluent, boy, so that I can get my promotion from the general. Then all that food can be yours. What do you say? Ah! We're surrounded! Dig in! Why, you little stunt monkey? Come here, you! Bring around Rosie, pocket full of posies. This is my chance for the promotion. I need a disguise. I need a parley vu and a foreign tongue. Hi -ya! I need to take this joker out. Mano, a mano, a mano. No, wait, that's too many manos. Where'd he go? No problemo. A crack counter spy like me can always track his man anywhere. It's me! I was just giving the Sarge a test. But it looks like you passed with flying colors. Flushing me out with this fine smelling chow. What a brilliant idea! I'm putting you in charge of security around here, Chili. <laughs> security and chow detail. <laughs> The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, Hogwash. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. a suitable ride and race your way to fun and fortune. Hmm, if I only had something to race. We got this race sewn up. Remember to lay back till the last turn. Tell me again why you aren't the one running. Psst, Pally, how'd you like to buy a genuine champagne racer for, say, 20 bucks? 20 bucks to win a thousand. Hey, how do 
I know you're not trying to cheat me? Why would I want to cheat a smart woodpecker like you? Stall 13 is where you'll find your winner. Ciao! No! A classic shell game. <laughs> Bowie! to swim with the clams, bring you floaties. <laughs> I'm starting to get an appetite for clams marinara. Hello, handsome. Say, you're good looking enough to be a movie star. How's about being my lean lady? Fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh from the sea. <laughs> you and me could be happy as clams together, doll face. <laughs> oh, but you know, a girl like me wants romance and flowers. <gasps> oh, Clammy, prove your love for me. Hey! Jump off Lover's Leap together. Hello, what are you making oysters in there? That clip's gotta be. <laughs> Wait for me, lover boy. Wait, you're that sucker. Woodpecker. Yep, and you're gonna ride me to fame and fortune, you bamboozling bottom feeder. Moments away from the start of the big country fair race, and a last minute entry, Woody Woodpecker riding happy as a clam. And <laughs> It's dunderhead by a nose, noser by a head, and apples three for a dollar. <laughs> With Grandpa's dentures behind him. <laughs> oh, and that clam is gaining. I told you I was an eating clam. And now it's time I had your hide. But we're gaining, Clammy. We can win. And you could have any dish your heart desired. Woodpecker on a spit. Or woodpecker puff pastry. <laughs> or how about wet woodpecker stew? Hey, your horseshoe's untied. Huh? <laughs> it's coming down! 
down to the wire between necktie and happy as a clam. It's neck and clamshell, neck and clamshell, neck and clamshell, neck and neck. Now that you've won the race, Woody Woodpecker, what are you gonna do next? I'm having him for dinner. <clears throat> Nothing goes better with spaghetti than clams. A thousand clams, split 50-50. Eh, minus the 20 you still owe me. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> is I finally had it with you. This time, you're out for good. If I can just borrow a black pen out. I told you you're finished, Woodpecker. So, I've gone and rented the tree house. To him. I'm Nicky Nicknacker. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm ready to sign your lease, dear lady. If only you behave more like this sweet debonair fellow, you might still be my tenant. But since you are nowhere near as cultured and refined, you're out of here. Oh, you T! Do you hear me? Out! Dear Meanie, now that the lease is signed, could you possibly see your way clear to lend me a mere morsel of food to tide me over until I'm settled in? Anything. What would you like? Oh, heavens. Just some soup, perhaps? One soupy doopy for my Nicky Wicky. And oh, I don't know, perhaps an egg? There we go! You know, it occurs to me, I could use a couple of ten, a um, hundred, uh, I mean thousand dollars. Yes, ten thousand would spot me nicely until the banks open on Monday. Oh, ten thousand? <laughs> Pshaw, what's a little <laughs> cash among friends? If you're thinking of coming up to my treehouse, would you do me the honor of phoning first? <laughs> Check it out, this biddy has some mighty cool stuff. The last one she'll ever suspect is little old me. <laughs> Mr. Knockwurst is a creep and a crook. Here's where I get my house back. Hey, what do you think you... I mean, why are you trespassing in my tree height? You can drop the bad British accent, bub. I'm way ahead of you. Miss Meanie will have to believe me when I return her... You ain't spoiling this for me. Miss Meanie, I forewarned you that the cat was stealing from you. No! It was him! Him, Miss Meanie! That's the last straw. <laughs> I love the way you handle the riffraff, Miss Meanie. Meanie to throw socialite party for Nixon Nicknacker. Hmm. 
I bet old Nicky will be up to his tricks at a wingding like this. <laughs> Mimi might not let me back on her property, but like I always say, one good imposter deserves another. And then I said. So I said to the queen, it's a toilet brush, not a toothbrush. <laughs> Let's see what that freeloading treehouse wrecker is up to now. Gotcha. Spinach souffle bites, my sweet. <laughs> Nicky boy. Yeehaw! I've been wondering where my nephew Nicky was at. I'm Nicky's Uncle Knuckles of the Knoxville Neckmakers. You're not my Uncle Knuckles. You're an imposter. Huh? Nicky, what's come over you? <laughs> I mean, this is preposterous. I don't have an Uncle Knuckles, Miss Mimi. Ah, uh, he's always pretending we ain't kin. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's our little game, right, Sticky Nicky? Sticky Nicky? Sure, he got that nickname because everything he puts his hands on sticks to him. <laughs> Is this the old bitty you told me you got wrapped around your feather tips? What? <laughs> I tell you, dear lady, I've never seen this imposter in my life. Say, you got the time bub? Uh, I did hope Yump and yes, he games. They've been robbed. Oh, shucks. That's too bad. But you know what we neckbackers do when bad times hit? We square dance. Alan and left, Alan and left, run That's my pocket watch. And my brooch. <laughs> It was you? How clever! <laughs> How could I ever thank you? Well, since you've been in such a generous mood lately, here's a short list of extras I think you could provide me at no additional rent. What? Oh, no, no, you don't, Woodpecker! <laughs> you won't take advantage of my hospitality, you freeloading sponge bird! You walking moose wagon! <laughs> Your Honor, you can't send me and Tweaky to jail. <laughs> Besides, in which we never took that lady's jewelry, Your Honor. The jewels jumped from her foresafe into our hands as we was taking a moonlight stroll past the mansion. Order! Order in my court. Because of your obvious theatrical and storytelling talents, I am sentencing you both to do community service. You'll stage a play at the youth center. And if you don't put on a good show, it'll be a thousand years hard labor. Wiki! We're gonna get society to pay us while we pay our debt to society. Auditions today. Five bucks. Oh, we want a trial for your play, mister, but we don't have any bucks. Then scram. But, boss, we don't have any other actors. And you know what the judge said. I know. I know what the judge said. All right, let's see. I'm putting on a kid's show here. It's, uh, it's called Peter Pan. Tweaky and me wrote it ourselves. You didn't write Peter Pan? Yeah, we saw that show here last month. Oh, <laughs> did I say Peter Pan? No, 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 no. I said Peter Pan Handler. Yeah, that's my play, Peter Pan Handler. <laughs> You're hired. Yay, we won't let you down. Where's the stage? Where's my dressing room? Boss, you just broke the first rule of the theater. What, never act with kids or animals? Never act with kids who are animals. Oh, we're sincerely doomed. Ah, snap out of it, Tweaky. There ain't nothing to produce in a kid's show. I'm gonna mount a production the likes of which this community ain't never seen. Or my name ain't Broadway Buzz Buzzard. These guys are strictly B-list. 
and they're gonna stink up this town. Unless we take matters into our own hands. <laughs> Act 9, scene 47 of Peter Panhandler. The Buzz and Twiggy story. This scene shows how me and Twiggy once had to bilk a sweet old lady out of a family heirloom jewels just to eat. Feel it, people. Feel it. Cue Splinter and Nuthead. Ha-ha! Yo-ho-ho! What do you two think you're doing? There ain't no pirates in my life story. But the judge loves pirates. Yeah, everyone loves pirates. You gotta have pirates. Oh, the pain. That's what's wrong with Broadway today. There's too much catering to the public's whims. Well, not in my show. No dancing pirates, no singing cats. Oh, psst. This is art. Juice, splinter and not head. Super woodpeckers to the rescue! Let's save him, Speedy Splinter! Roger Ramco, nimble knothead! Cut, cut, cut! There ain't no flying woodpecker scene! Who's directing this show, you or me? Don't answer that! Now you play me, and you play Twiggy! No pirates, no flying woodpeckers! This is drama! Play the scenes of my life so the audience can feel my pain. I feel his pain. Do you feel his pain? Oh, yeah. I definitely feel his pain. <laughs> the theater's full, boss. You know what'll happen if they hate our play, Tweaky? What come midnight, we'll be slow dancing on the block with a gorilla named Bubba. No! We'll never get to Broadway! There's only one solution. In tonight's performance, the parts of Buzz Buzzard and Tweaky Delacky will be played by, uh, themselves. You still gotta play all the other parts. Come on, Tweaky, it's showtime. <laughs> Peter Pan Handler, the Buzz and Tweaky story. As a baby buzzard, I was abandoned on the doorstep of two gentle... Pirates! Oh, pirates! Oh, pirates! It's the most spectacular show I've ever seen. Okay, okay. Take us away, Judge. Not a chance, Buzz. You're a hit. We want you to direct the next show here, Director Buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do Death of a Salesman. And we'll play the evil space aliens. Well, of course. Hey, wait a minute. There ain't no evil space aliens in Death of a Salesman. Ah! Out of my way, boss! Oh, help me, Tweaky! <laughs> You hear about the free fish? Thanks for the free grub, bub. 
What you gonna eat tomorrow, sonny boy? I'll come back here for the free fish, same as today. Oh, sorry. Offer's only good one to a customer. Besides, I got a philosophy about fishing. I give you one fish and you eat for a day. But I teach you the fish and you can eat every day for the rest of your life. 25 bucks a lesson. Ah, uh, why would I pay someone to teach me how to put a worm on a hook and snooze in a rowboat? Oh, an expert, eh? Why didn't you say so? Well, since you know all there is to know, I won't charge you a penny. But you catch old Lefty the Trout, biggest, smartest fish in these here waters, so I can hang him in my shop to do all business. And you can eat free at my stand whenever you like. Free food forever? Just for catching a stupid fish? Hoo-hoo, <laughs> boy! You're on, bub. I'll catch a few Z's, catch Lefty the Lunker, then head back to the bait shop to catch my free dinner. I'm telling you, Al, we gotta swim upstream together sometime. I know all the best spots around. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta go. Some hotshot's trying to make a name for himself. Yep, it's always the same, isn't it? Thinking they got what it takes to catch old Lefty the Big Trout. Ciao. Let's do lunch sometime. Oh, woo, come to Woody. Let's see. Ten-letter word for sucker. Woodpecker. A sucker is a woodpecker. Hey, what's the big idea? Next time, use something other than worms. I get a big appetite sport. <laughs> There's no fish that can outsmart a woodpecker on a mission. stuff and mount you over my mantelpiece down below. That does it. No fish lip wise guy's gonna... Hey, mayflies are a trout's favorite food. And that free fish fry at the bait shop is a woodpecker's favorite food. Yep, sometimes it takes a big bug to catch an even bigger bug. Mayflies, my favorite. Whoa! Can't give up, you overgrown minnow. Yeah! <laughs> so long. See you next fishing season. I can't. Hey, what gives? Now that you know I'm not the big lunker you want to hang on the wall, you can let me go. Forget it. I got a date with free dinner for life. 
Oh, so sorry. This isn't the legendary Lefty. Oh, no. No free meals for you, Woodbecker. What? I swear, it's your trout. Told you, sport. Now you're gonna let me go? No how, no way. I want that free meal, and you're gonna get it for me. Got it? Uh. <laughs> Bucky, we gotta talk. Hi! Is it true there's a monster-sized trout in this lake? Monster trout are minnows compared to what I've caught. Why, just the other day, I caught... Yeah, so I got this great new gig. Oops, gotta go, Al. I'm getting a call on my other line. And to this day, no one's ever caught a bigger trout. Get right up. Give me hooks. I need plenty of bait. I want a bigger net. <laughs> 